Hello and welcome in our demonstration of Testwell CTC++ Test Coverage Analyzer from VerifySoft. Testwell CTC++ Test Coverage Analyzer for C, C++, C Sharp and Java is a powerful and easy to use code test coverage tool, which shows the parts of the code which has been executed and then tested. Testwell CTC++ can be used on host for native projects. Please refer to our other video describing our integration within the Microsoft Visual Studio IDE for more information. If you look for an efficient and easy to use solution for your IT projects, Testwell CTC++ is your base choice. But today, we will see how it can be used for measuring code coverage in embedded targets and microcontrollers. Its main benefits are very low instrumentation overhead, performs code coverage in all targets, it works even with small targets and microcontrollers, and works with all compilers and cross-compilers. We'll see how your code can be instrumented for analyzing its test coverage from within an IDE such as 332 from Lauterbar. Let's take uh, the regular C and uh, either files uh, in order to compile and link. But here in the process, we have the instrumentation phase, and this is done automatically by uh, the uh, integration within the IDE. All gray blue parts so, uh, are used by uh, our integration to generate the simum file. And what you just saw, it's uh, to generate a data file from the target uh, in order to produce uh, the, the report. Okay, let's focus now on how uh, we can uh, save uh, the data uh, from uh, the coverage analysis uh, running on the target uh, back to the host. So, uh, typically, uh, we are using uh, the, the BitCob options uh, because your, your target uh, uh, doesn't have any uh, file system running on it. For this uh, situation, we are using uh, BitCob, which doesn't need to have any runtime library installed, uh, so it's minimized uh, the overhead uh, impact on the global memory, as we only have to add a CTC uh, array. Uh, to uh, our application in order to be able uh, to uh, uh, collect the coverage uh, data uh, and uh, later on to be able to uh, uh, generate uh, a, a report. So this is how, how it works in, a, in other words. Uh, we just talked previously about the mundancy file and uh, the man uh, the dat file uh, which are the classical file that uh, the, the report generator is expecting so while running on a target this is a different uh, mechanism where uh, you want to to have a man uh, file uh, which is generated by uh, the instrumentation so it's a kind of a preliminary uh, man dot dat file but uh, it needs more information from uh, analysis running on, on, on the target what once you you run your test uh, you you will get uh, from uh, your, your target to uh, save uh, the CTC array uh, values on the disk uh, by using a save command from a uh, debugger uh, to save this in a mundan DLP uh, file uh, which is typically uh, either a binary file uh, as format uh, it's record format from uh, from Motorola or Intellex, uh, which are well known for uh, flashing or programming memories uh, for uh, embedded applications. So once you have uh, this uh, data uh, saved here, you are able to translate uh, this uh, binary or uh, proprietary format to something which is readable uh, by uh, CTC. Uh, it would be a textual information. So we call this file model txt, and then we will add an utility which is called ctc to that, that will convert uh, the uh, textual information uh, back to the mon dat, and then we will be able to use the classical uh, report generation for for ctc. So today uh, we'll show how to use uh, the uh, Lotterbau uh, IDE. Uh, with a test well uh, CTC++ so 
uh, the, the goal of the demonstration is to uh, show the uh, process used to um, instrument uh, the code in order to, to generate uh, uh, a binary which will be uh, executable and uh, then uh, run this uh, on, on the target. Here we won't use a real target but uh, the simulator provided by the Tarbar uh, instead uh, for the uh, trace uh, 32 uh, reset. Uh, this two set is is um, not as usual in the sense that uh, you, you, you cannot uh, compile a link uh, within the ID, uh, but uh, you have a, a very powerful uh, debug uh, features um, and uh, very powerful uh, language uh, so scripting language uh, for uh, debugging. And uh, we will extend a bit this demonstration uh, with uh, unit uh, or integration uh, uh, testing based on the, this. Uh, uh, description uh, language. Uh, so uh, the, the main goal here is to uh, see how we can uh, execute uh, uh, the load of the binary in the, in the, in the memory and then uh, run it on circuit, collect uh, the coverage uh, data and save uh, this uh, data on your host. Here we are using uh, Windows and then uh, generate uh, the coverage report uh, for analysis. Before uh, loading uh, the binary, we need to, uh, to build it. So this is the, uh, the goal of the next, uh, very next uh, step here. Uh, we have prepared in a dedicated folder uh, a, few, uh, a few files. So our example is called uh, GU. Uh, as you will see, this is a very simple uh, Source, uh, source code that uh, well, one function with their own uh, uh, features inside, and uh, we are using a, a GNU uh, GCC uh, compiler link targeting uh, STM32 uh, ARM microcontroller. We will describe here uh, the way we set up uh, uh, Testwell CTC++ uh, for. Um, being compliant with the, the compiler, uh, with the cross compiler we, we selected. Uh, so basically, um, the setup is taken from uh, the current folder uh, where you will have a ctc.ini uh, uh, file, and um, th this file is a simple copy and paste uh, from uh, the information that you will have in the default uh, distribution. Uh, for a target uh, using uh, GNU uh, GCC uh, compiler. Uh, so we just uh, copy paste uh, the information uh, and we are just here uh, describing the uh, cross compiler uh, setup specific uh, for uh, CTC. Uh, you will see uh, in uh, the first uh, one of the first line uh, with the command uh, keyword, uh, the name of the cross compiler uh, with and without dot uh, exe. Uh, so we just need to, to copy uh, and paste exactly the name of the compiler which is available uh, under your uh, operating uh, uh, system. So this is the first thing you, you need to, to edit. Then we are using uh, BitCov here, so this is a optimized. Um, set up for CTC. So you need to, to, to add uh, after the run, after instrumentation uh, keyword uh, CTC to static. Uh, that means that uh, BitCov in this case uh, will be used instead of the uh, OTA, which is OS target uh, support, uh, where OTA uh, would need some libraries and some. Uh, uh, part of code that you will write to uh, be able to uh, send information from CTC uh, to your uh, local hard disk. So here we don't need that with uh, BitCov, so you will need to put a comment uh, at the start of the line, which is a uh, hash uh, for the three libraries, uh, because there is no libraries uh, with, uh, with BitCov. So we'll uh, do our demonstration and Using the command line, uh, it's more convenient to show uh, the various steps uh, that we want to, to, to use. Uh, so first, maybe we can clean uh, for the previous uh, 
uh, run uh, the files which will be generated now by using the cross compiler. Uh, so, um, by the way, the make file that uh, we'll use uh, is it, just a regular make file. There is no need to make any change for uh, test well CTC or uh, plus plus. Uh, we will uh, pro pre process instead uh, this uh, uh, compiler link. Uh, uh, process that we explained uh, earlier, and um, we have basically two scripts that have been uh, created for this uh, demonstration, uh, or three actually. The clean one, the one we just used, uh, go in order to, to run the, the preprocess, and I'm about uh, to do it. And the third one is report uh, that we'll use uh, later on once um, we we'll run the instrumented code uh, within uh, Trace32 and uh, uh, apply some uh, test vectors. So have a look after uh, compiler link. We have now a goo.erf which is instrumented uh, binary file used to uh, flash uh, the target or in our case uh, to download it into memory uh, the, uh, within the simulator. A lot about Trace32 uh, simulator but exactly the same process if you have a target instead of a simulator. And the two of the files which are generated from a CTC, a mod.sim, which is symbolic data uh, with all uh, possible uh, props uh, for, for the counter, and mod.x, which is a temporary file that we'll use later on to generate uh, the report. Uh, for Trace32 uh, will use for this demonstration uh, the script uh, language. Uh, so it's a complete uh, a script uh, file used uh, to initialize uh, the debugger uh, to download the, the, the binary file and then uh, to uh, uh, run the test uh, uh, vector against uh, the instrumented code and finally uh, generate uh, the uh, CTC array uh, content uh, for um, getting the, the coverage uh, uh, data. So, uh, CTC array uh, need to be uh, added within the source files, and this is uh, really the only uh, part of the source that you you have to change uh, within your application uh, for having a CTC uh, running. So. Uh, there is a utility that will provide you uh, this information in order to, to know the size uh, which is needed. So it's quite uh, automated from a uh, test well uh, part. Uh, so you need to copy and paste this information within your, uh, your uh, source code. Uh, this is a global array and uh, this is where again we store all uh, props, all data collected during uh, the execution of this instrumented uh, uh, binary. So now let's go back to uh, uh, Trace32. So Trace32, uh, as you will see, it's very uh, convenient and very powerful uh, uh, debugging environment. So uh, we can step and debug uh, the uh, script. And this is again very convenient for the demonstration. So uh, this is a very simple um, set of uh, commands uh, which will initialize a few uh, windows, download the binary file we just uh, created uh, uh, before, so in the simulator uh, uh, memory, and uh, we'll add here a new button which uh, will be used for saving the CTC array content uh, to, to the disk. Here. So now we have a button that we we'll use at the end of the demonstration to save uh, in binary the content of our global array uh, and then generate uh, the report. So we could have also added uh, another button for generating the HTML report from the IDE. Uh, we, 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 we have such integration with uh, um, other uh, IDE uh, tools such as IR, for instance. So if you do want to, to to see what's possible to achieve uh, by uh, using CTC and script to language and uh, if the ID is able to provide such a feature um, please refer to our video uh, for IR ID, ID integration 
uh, with uh, CTC, uh, we'll see that uh, we can add uh, specific menus in order to uh, collect the data, set up the instrumentation, etc. So here uh, we just carry on with uh, setting up a few uh, windows. Uh, this one just to watch our CTC array uh, variable, how it will uh, change once you run uh, various tests. Uh, the value of the counter so should change. Uh, you, you will be able to run and execute uh, in uh, C uh, within uh, Trace32 here and to watch and change uh, some uh, data uh, values. Uh, very useful here in order to have our um, test vectors uh, generated. And we'll save all results uh, within uh, log file. Uh, just to, to, to be sure that uh, the test uh, has run completely and correctly. So I won't go into too much details of the script, this is not the goal, but just you, you will see that the values are changing and then CTC array content is also uh, changing. Uh, so we are applying various tests and uh, we'll see if we are able to achieve 100% uh, uh, coverage uh, or not by using this, uh, this test. So you, you can run it uh, completely, you don't need to step, of course, uh, but for the demonstration, again, it's uh, more convenient for you to see what uh, we can uh, have uh, using uh, uh, CTC in such uh, environment. And, uh, for instance, here, um, making some uh, integration or unit testing of uh, your, your application. So, uh, okay, just a couple of, of test vectors uh, to, to complete uh, the, uh, the test. And then uh, uh, by the end, okay, the script is, is ended. So we have here this uh, CTC array content. And uh, by pressing this button, I will save the value in binary on my, on my disk. So I can exit from uh, a Trace32 and go back here uh, to um, my working directory. So yes, I have a new file called mon.x. That I can use uh, with uh, the previous man files to generate uh, the reports. So I prepared a script. So this script uh, will uh, take uh, the, the files, one dot uh, sim and mod dot uh, x files that we uh, we have saved from uh, uh, trace 42 and uh, uh, generate this report. So my test is not is not too bad actually because I reach 100% uh, coverage. So let's go into details. Uh, what has been uh, achieved. Uh, you are able by using MCDC uh, pair to, to see uh, which test uh, has been done. So I run once this one, once this one, it's the same here. So um, for MCDC, I needed to have five pairs. And this is why I've done five or six uh, tests actually in, uh, in the IDE to, to get this 100%. So uh, you can browse with uh, uh, various uh, uh, reports here in, uh, in CTC uh, in its GML format. Or you can generate also uh, XML or Excel or raw text if you want uh, if you want to. And by the way, if we go back now to the working directory, I should have my text file. Okay, so. You can see here the uh, test vectors that have been uh, used for uh, generating uh, this uh, just now. All the steps uh, described and shown here um, described in an application note uh, which is available. So you simply need to uh, ask for it uh, to your local uh, representative, reseller, and uh, we'll be more than happy to uh, send you this application note. Uh, uh, again, uh, is a step-by-step -step, uh, procedure. So this is the end of our presentation and demonstration. Thank you for attending. If you are interested in getting more details, please visit our website, verifysat.com, where you can get all information about our products, technical description, brochures, papers, videos, and many more material. Feel free to ask us for our free evaluation. Goodbye and thank you.